everybody dies. And that's life. It's a goddamn mess in there. Have you been up there? It's like that restaurant. Spaghetti City. Hey friends, this is T again with another reaction video. And today we're going to be doing a reaction on The Monkey. Now, the reason why I wanted to do a reaction on this because this is written by Stephen King, okay? Now, I have to admit, I never read a book by Stephen King in my life. Never, okay? But I've seen probably almost all of his movies. And most of them I like, okay? So I don't completely agree with his politics, but I do like him as a creator. And uh, this looks like it might be something interesting, at, le at the least unique, okay? So let's go ahead and get into this reaction. But before we do, please like, subscribe, and share this video. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you know whenever we come out with a new video, okay? All right, let's get started. For the longest time, there was nothing. I was good Perkins. I don't know but who that is. It appeared. A beast not from this earth. Smiting the ones who deserved it. The ones who didn't. And everyone in between. Whoever controls it, controls life and death. And those deaths are really fucked up. Holy sh Everybody dies. <laughs> and that's life. It's a goddamn mess in there. Have you been up there? It's like that restaurant. Spaghetti City. Everything okay up there? Oh. Yeah, everything's oh. fine. Oh. Come on, baby, let's have some fun. <laughs> All right, man. We just reacted to the monkey, okay? This is a Stephen King short, actually. I'm I'm it's based on the short, but I'm not exactly sure if this is going to be a short. I'm sure it's going to be a full length movie, but uh, it's based on Stephen King's short. I didn't even know he did shorts, okay? But I guess everybody do shorts now. Now, the thing about I like about Stephen King is because he loved to do like really weird stuff. You know, he got this crazy imagination, man. He really does. And it always, and that's the part about him. I'm not exactly sure if you can call him a horror a writer or what exactly because it seems it's more about the human condition about you know people going through certain things and real life situations but then all of a sudden it takes this twist and turn to something really weird and and crazy i remember when i was young a young kid you i would look at these little pictures on the wall and you see you know these weird pictures i mean like on a farm or something like that and you have the, all these imaginations when you look at it right even when i think about it now it seems strange and almost unworldly you know what i mean it, it's just that that you know you don't know what's down a hallway or during the winter time like you know you look out your backyard and see the ocean you know it, it just looks different look weird you know and we back then as i grew up we believed in a lot of spirits and ghosts and all this other stuff right so we our imagination used to go crazy man with the stuff that happened around our house really weird stuff and this is what this remind me of it you know you you living in a, a regular world but all of a sudden certain strange things start to happen around you that you can't explain right now it don't happen like it does in movies when it's just continuously happening it just you know you might see something walking in the woods and you can't you don't know what it is it might be bigfoot or whatever right but you never see it again or maybe something in the ocean that you saw that you never seen before but then you never see it again you know things like that maybe a spaceship in the sky that you see or a light 
but then you never see it again. But because in movies, you continuously see it and it, 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 it continues to grow <laughs> as time go on. So, but you know, but it does remind me of, and that's what I love about Stephen King. He put all his crazy in the real world. These people are normal. And a lot of times they have normal reaction to certain things. Okay. And I hate it when uh humans don't have natural reactions to certain type of situations it throws me off and i mentioned that in other movies i mean other reactions that i've done that you know for example because black people love to joke about it right we'll watch uh some movie where the, the house is haunted or something like that right and then the white people refuse to leave okay even after all the crazy stuff happened that they can't explain but they refuse to leave okay so that's kind of unrealistic to us and when i look at movies now that i'm older it's like it's kind of unacceptable i need to know people are going to react in a human way now you can you can make the situation where the person can't leave it's sort of like that song uh hotel california right you can check out but you can never leave right you could you could do one of those numbers right but at least have the person try to leave instead of sticking around to find out about what's going on. Now, if it's a detective or somebody that's investigating a murder or something weird is going on, and that's part of the job to stick around, then that might make more sense. But if you're just an average person and all of a sudden all this crazy stuff started happening, people floating in the air and all stuff, I mean, just crazy stuff, man. The first thing you're going to do is get the hell out of there, right? But then you might contact the tabloids so you can make some money off of it. Or get a couple of pictures that they did skedaddle, you know what I mean? But that's what I like about Stephen King. He he liked to put his stuff in the real world. And it's probably very cost effective too, right? Because he's not as popular as he used to be. I mean, I remember when uh, Stephen King movies come out, it was a big deal. It was a really big deal. But these days, it's not such a big deal, um, actually. I mean, matter of fact, a lot of his movies nowadays is sort of like something you would see on TV now, just regular, regular movies, scary movies or whatever, right? It's not like you got to rush to the movie theater to go see Stephen King or anything like that, right? Because a lot of the stuff now is in streaming. So if you if you watch a lot of his newer stuff, you might just miss it, you know? Because I didn't know at first it was a Stephen King until I read a little bit of it. But but like I say, he's just not as popular as it used to be, especially now that sometimes he like to step into the political arena and say a bunch of crazy stuff. So that doesn't help at all. Right. But, you know, I still like his stuff. I still enjoy it. I think it's unique and it's placed in the real world. And it's just things that happen that you just can't explain. And of course, I believe that either you are hallucinating or something spiritual, something real that you just can't explain that you've seen. You know, I had uh, many I thought was dreams. I could, I could have sworn I got up, but then, you know, saw a ghost, but then that was it. So, I mean, it, it's just so much stuff, you know, but that makes the world interesting, though. It makes you understand that there's more to it than what you realize. People just think Earth is just a regular planet, and that's all it is, right? With, with mountains and trees and water and all this other stuff, right? But it's more than that, right? It holds a lot more mystery than we realize because you know when sometimes when we try to go in space or we go into the deepest darkest oceans there's so much unique things out there that we just can't explain and why animals act a certain way or what what have you right it's just so mysterious i doubt if we ever figure out everything that's on this planet which makes it exciting i think so exciting but like I say, I, I love Stephen King. I like the fact that he liked to explore certain different things. Some things could get pretty, pretty crazy uh, with a Stephen King movie. But either way, I usually like it. And if it is coming on streaming, I definitely watch it. I won't go to the movie theater for this. I won't do it. You know what I mean? It, like I said, I, I said in many videos before, it takes a lot for me to go to the theater, right? But to me, this is more of a uh, set home with, with tea and maybe some you know biscuits or whatever and sit back and watch it you know what i mean because it's like a cold day outside you just want to chill and relax so this is the kind of movie that i would enjoy and uh, these kind of movies i love during the fall and winter because something about horror movies is just perfect during those times i think that's the reason why halloween is in october right because it gives that airy feeling right 
you know, the something ain't right. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm thinking that's the reason why Halloween is around this time. But I'm looking forward to Halloween, even though I don't dress up or celebrate anything like that. But I do like the activities around me when things like that happen. So either case. But this was a very interesting trailer. I like the actor that's in it. I'm glad uh, Stephen King's involved. That means it's going to be pretty unique and interesting. Like I say, man, um, you can say a lot about Stephen King, man, but you can't compare his movies with anyone else. You definitely can't do it. But you know what? Um, I keep forgetting to, to read the comments and I want to do it now to see how many people might be excited about seeing this. So let's go ahead and get into the comments to see what's up. All right, let's get started. All right. Uh, Loam Statron. What's a Lomatatron? Okay. Thought this was a Tony Story 3 comeback. <laughs> Barrick Old Masa. It's the dude from Toy Story. Uh, Rosie Boy. Another hard movie. Wow. Okay. It ain't too many people excited about it, but it just came out two hours ago. So I don't expect a lot, but it don't sound like too many people are too excited about this movie, though. But either case, I at least wanted to explore uh, what was going on. And uh, I guess that's it, man. That's pretty much it. Okay. I really appreciate all of you coming by. Thanks again. This is T and Peace. Everything okay up there? Yeah, everything's fine.